now I am going to solve this problem 152 in this problem it is said that two upward loads are exerted on the small three dimensional truss so it's a three dimensional truss and two small loads are acting on this uh, three dimensional truss and the direction of both these loads is in the y direction this is the y direction so it is said that reduce these two loads to a single force coupled system at point O so we are asked to replace these two forces by a force coupled system at this point O and it is also said that show that R is perpendicular to MO and then determine the point in the XZ plane through which the resultant passes right so then first we have to show that whether R is perpendicular to M and then we need to determine the point in the XY plane through which the resultant passes right so we have to find the coordinates of that point the point of application of the resultant so first we will determine the resultant magnitude so as we can see that both of the forces are acting in the y direction right so the resultant will be equal to the summation of all forces along y right so we can write it like this so it will be 800 800 is in the positive y direction similarly 1600 is in the positive y direction so we will add up those so this is in the positive ga so i will write this and this resultant vector is equal to 2400 j so this is the resultant vector which was required right so now we will determine the couple at point o right so we will determine the moment due to these two forces right so if you want to find the moment of these two forces by using the inspection method right so if you want to find the moment about x right so if we look into these two forces from this direction so then this 800 newton force is intersecting with the x axis is right if you want to find the component of the moment about o along x right so then this 800 newton is not producing moment about x since it is intersecting with the x axis so only this 1600 newton force is producing the moment about x axis and as we are looking into this direction so the perpendicular distance of this 1600 newton force from the x axis is this 0.9 meter right so we will write the magnitude will be 1600 into 0.9 and what will be the direction of this moment produced by this 1600 newton so this will be that moment right this is the counterclockwise moment and if we curl our right hand finger so the thumb the thumb will point out in this positive direction right so this means that this is positive and this is along i right so this is the component of the moment about o along the x axis is right so we will find its magnitude a bit later then to find the component of the moment about o along the y axis so we will observe these forces from the y direction but as we can see that both of these forces are parallel to the y axis so they will never produce the moment about y so this means that the component of the moment along y is zero right so we will write zero j and similarly to find the moment at point o along the z axis so we will observe both of these forces from this direction and as we can see that both of these forces are producing the moment about z since the perpendicular the, these forces have some perpendicular distance right both of these forces have this 1.2 plus 1.2 perpendicular distance from this z axis is right and both of these forces are producing the moment in the same direction right so if we observe the direction so this 800 newton will try will try to rotate this whole truss in this direction right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in this direction right so both of these forces are producing the moment in this same positive z direction right so we can write the magnitude of both right so the magnitude is 800 into this 1.2 plus 1.2 right so it is 2.4 plus 1600 into 2.4 so we will add both as both of the forces are producing the moment in same direction right and we will write k right we will write plus k with it so this is the component of the moment along the z axis right so let me solve this
So this is the moment about O vector, right? So this is 1440i plus 5760 and this is the resultant, right? So we, now we need to show that whether R is perpendicular to MO or not. So we will take the dot product, right? And if the dot product equals to zero, so then they both of these will be perpendicular, right? So if we take the dot product, so R dot M vector and R is 2400J dot 1440i plus 5760k, right? So if we multiply this, so j dot i is 0 and again j dot k is equal to 0, right? So this comes out to be 0, right? So this means that r and m are perpendicular. So r is perpendicular to m. Now in the in the last we will determine the point in the xy plane through which the resultant passes right so we have to find the line of action of the resultant right if you want to replace this resultant this force couple system by only one resultant right so let's suppose if if this is that resultant which is in the positive y direction so let's suppose if i draw that resultant somewhere here right and it is acting along the y axis right so let me Right, that this is that resultant which is equal to 2400J and let's suppose that the point of action of application of this force, the point of application of this force is this point P, right? So let's say if, if we want to reach this point P, so this is the X coordinates, right? So let's suppose if, if I say that this point is X, right? or I say that this whole distance from this point to this point, let's suppose if I say that this point A, so let's suppose that I say that this OA distance is X and this AP distance is Z, right, since this is along Z, right, and if, if we want to represent the moment arm of this P vector, so if I draw that moment arm, so let's suppose if this is that moment arm, right, so let's suppose if I say that this is that R O P moment arm vector, right? So now if you want to find this, this the coordinates of this point P, so what we will do, we will take the cross product of this R O P with this the resultant vector and this should be equal to M O, right? This M O. If this resultant represents that force couple system, so its cross product will give us the same moment, right? So the R O P cross R, right? So if you want to write this R O P vector, so what will be the coordinates of this point P? So if I write, so we will travel along X some distance. So we will write X and then we will travel along Z, right? So I will write Z and since this point P is in the X Z plane, so there is no need to travel along Y, right? So these are the coordinates of point P. So if you want to write our OP vector, so we can represent it if this is the origin in terms of these coordinates, so it will be Xi plus Zk, right? So now we can write it here, so it will be Xi plus Zk cross that R vector which is 2400J and this will be equal to that moment vector that is 1440I plus 5760K right so let me draw this figure again so i j and k so if you take the cross part of this so this will be 2400 x and i cross j so i cross j is k right so i will write this and then this will be 2400 z and k cross j so k cross j is minus i so this is equal to 1440i plus 5760k, right? So now we will compare this 20, minus 2400z with this 1440 if these two moments are equal, right? So, so if we compare this, so then this uh, minus 2400z will be equal to 1440. So z will be equal to 14. 40 divided by minus 2400 right and similarly if we compare this k term with k term right so this will be 
2400x is equal to 5760. So x will be equal to 5760 divided by 2400, right? So if we solve both of these, so we will get the x coordinate and we will get the z coordinates of the point of application of the resultant. So let me solve. So when we solve both of these, so the x coordinate comes out to be 2.4 meters and the z coordinate comes out to be minus 0 0.6, right? So if you want to show both of these coordinates, right? in the figure so let me draw that so now the x coordinate comes out to be 2.4 and the z coordinate is minus 0 0.6 so this means that this force is acting somewhere here on this line let's suppose if i draw a line uh, parallel to this line right let's suppose if i draw a line parallel to the z axis is right so the x coordinate is 2.4 which is the sum of this 1.2 and this 1.2 so this means that this resultant vector will be somewhere here on this line and the z coordinate is minus 0 0.6 right so if 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 i put this uh, vector somewhere here on this line right somewhere here right so now the x coordinate of this point if this is that actual point p Right, so the x coordinate of this point is plus 2.4 and the z coordinate of this point of application of this resultant is minus 0 0.6, right? So this resultant will replace both of these forces by a single force, right? So this is the solution of this problem.